Today I'm going to train you exactly how I train my kids and exactly how I train all of my clients. I train you all exactly the same way. We all have a problem and the problem is this. We don't have enough time in the day to practice, to rehearse, to train at the performance that we have coming up. You and I and my kids, we're all measured right? We're all graded on our performance. We have to perform, whether it's on the athletic field or on stage or in the office, wherever we have to come through for ourselves. Most of us have a problem right there. We're performing way too much and we're not practicing enough. Let's take care of that, okay? I started off by telling you I'm going to train you just like I do my kids. My kids, uh, just like my clients, get this book. This book, The Little Book of Talent by Daniel Coyle. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but my son's name is written right here, Axel Eason. I gave him this book when he was six. He's now eight, okay? This book is about Daniel Coyle going out to these hotbeds of talent, these pieces of talent in Russia tennis club, in a Baltimore swim club, all these little hotbeds, whether it be music or athletics or mathematics, it doesn't matter. There's these little hotbeds that create great amounts of talent. I've been a part of these my whole life. I want you to be a part of these. This is what I'm building. This is who I train. This is who I teach, is these hotbeds of talent, of how to create this thing. They will have one thing in common in here. They all have one thing in common, and guess what it is? If, if Daniel Coyle had to sum up what all these hotbeds of talent have in common, it is this. The hotbeds of talent have a different relationship to practice than the regular world. Different relationship to practice. That's how I train my kids. That's how I'm going to train you. So if we look in here, I open this up. There's a little note that I wrote to Axel when he was like six. And it's right here. And it's pointing to the sentence that said, our, our life is all about practice. And I say to him, Axel, you're the best. This is your job for the rest of your life. And there's an arrow pointing to the sentence. Love you, Dad. And the sentence is, people in the hotbeds of talent have a different relationship to practice. Practice is the center of their universe. It is the biggest part of their everyday lives. It is the big game. Same is true for you. Most of us don't practice enough. We don't rehearse enough. We don't train enough for the day of performance, regardless of what the discipline, what the performance is. We're going to remedy that by changing the percentage, by changing your mindset, the percentage of your day you're spending preparing rather than performing. And, and just so you know, so I'm going to tell you right now that from this day forward, I want you to spend 90% of your day preparing to perform, practicing to perform, rehearsing to perform, 90% and 10% performance. So 90% of your day is preparing, is practicing, is rehearsing for that performance. And I'll, I'll promise you this too. If you refuse what I'm asking you to do, if you refuse it, and I tell my kids this, and I tell my clients this, and you've got to take this on in your everyday life. If you refuse this call of practicing 90% of the time, then you have sealed your fate. Let me repeat that. If you refuse to practice and prepare 90% of the time, then you have sealed your fate, meaning you have a ceiling meaning you have boundaries that I don't have to deal with. I'm committed to preparing, practicing, training 90% of my day. So that means when I get on stage or when I have to perform in, in, in other ways, whether it's being a husband or a father or a leader uh, or an athlete, I'm going to come through for myself because I have the confidence because I've trained the most. Same thing with my kids. By the time they're 20 years old, they're going to have trained more than anybody. Well, no one's going to be able to catch them, their age, right? Look at your schedule now. Pull it out. Look at your everyday life. Where are you spending your time? Is it more performance oriented or are you preparing for that day of performance? Or are you waiting for somebody to choose you 
I don't want any waiting. I want practice, performance, training. Look at your schedule. It's a very simple exercise because I don't want your fate sealed. I certainly don't want my kid's fate sealed. And if you're not going to do it, then you've sealed it. You have a ceiling. There's only so high that you can go. Look at your day. See how much percentage is practice. And I want you to make that number up. So if that's 50% of your day, then I want you to hike it up to 60. And I want you to continually get better and more practice and more training at your specific discipline, whatever your performance-based thing is. Because you're, look, you're getting measured. You have to perform. You got to practice. You got to train. Change the mindset. Then you get to be a, a part of these hotbeds, about a part of these gold mines, because the only thing difference between us and them is we don't train enough. We don't practice enough. Get out there. Change your schedule. Change it around. 90-10. 90% training. Got it? Get out there. Do it. Do it.